All right, guys, today is just going to be a super quick, super simple video, but I think it can help a lot of people out. And it's a question that I get quite often. So have you ever bought one of these, a MacBook and thought now I have the perfect laptop with the perfect display and everything is good. And now I can do my color grading, my photo editing, whatever I want to do. And it's going to look amazing. And then you get on to color grading and you get your image to look something like this. And then you hit export and then all of a sudden it looks like this. You're like, what is going on? What is it? YouTube? Is it Instagram? Is it my phone? Is it my iPad? Whatever you're exporting to and transferring to afterwards, why is it looking so bad? And even just exporting it and then looking at the screen itself, you're like, what's going on? I might have a solution for that. So I think it's like six months back, something like that. Ben TK, an Instagram a YouTuber, I saw that on his Instagram and he was he's just got a new MacBook and he was looking into how to get this to work and I followed his settings and I've been, I've been doing it ever since. So I thought I would share that. So I thought I would share that with you today as well so that you can change your display settings and hopefully, hopefully get the same results as well. So. Let's jump into the computer and super simply, quickly show you what I'm doing. All right, we've switched to my MacBook now and you can see that I have two screens on, but we are just gonna focus on the built-in display, which is my MacBook screen. And you know probably that the screens are amazing, they're color graduated, everything is good, but yet it doesn't really seem to work exactly when you're actually editing and then exporting and everything. So without going a lot into color spaces and color management and all that kind of stuff, what you're exporting for when you export, you should be exporting for Rec. 709 sRGB. So that's the color space that you should, should be exporting to. And essentially that's what most, like all most displays will show. But the thing is that when you are in your, like this is the default uh, preset that, the, that my MacBook is in, the Apple XDR display and then something with nits that I don't know what is. And these colors are just slightly different. Like when I'm watching movies, Netflix, whatever on my computer, this is the one that I use because I like the colors more. But when I'm editing to get the best results out of my computer afterwards, I need to change that. So what we do is that we can go into customize. You can see actually that I've already selected my own one, but I'll show you how to create a preset that works. So go to customize presets. By the way, if your uh, setup looks slightly different, this is my this is the new Mac OS Ventura. So that's if you haven't updated yet, that's why it looks different. But you'll find something similar with the presets. Don't worry. Okay. So in here you have the Internet and Web sRGB. So you can see it's called sRGB in the parentheses instead of all these other kind of different color spaces and things that you can have, and also the P3 1600 nits. That's different. So you select this one and then you click plus. Then you can name it whatever you want. Tutorial display settings. I'm calling this one. You could see that my own one was just called LX sRGB. You don't really have to do anything in here. You could do whatever you want to do with the color space and tell it to do different things. I'm not going to do that. You can see the color gamut is set to Rec. 709 sRGB. And if you click enable HDR content, and click 500 and then 500 here and then disable it again. If you're not doing this and you click save preset and you use it, your screen brightness will be way lower. But if you do it like this, enable it, click 500 and in both and then disable it again, this will work. And then you can save the preset and I'm just gonna get canceled because I already have one. And then you can select the preset here, click done. And then that will be the preset that it's showing. Now your screen is in Rec. 709 sRGB, and that should work so that when you're exporting, if you're using the program correctly, if it's Final Cut, if it's Premiere, or if it's DaVinci, as long as you are working in Rec. 709 and you're exporting for that, the colors should be the same. There might be slight variances, and also if you export it or like transfer it to your phone, your computer, or your iPad, another screen, something like that. All those devices are calibrated differently, so that's why the colors might look different. But this is how you make sure that when you are editing on your MacBook screen, this is how you get the same colors. And you're sure that you're editing in the correct colors because otherwise you might be color grading and editing in 
a different color space. And then if you are editing Rec 709 in your software, then the result is not the same. Like you're not seeing the correct colors. And that's why it'll look different when you export it after. So we select this and that should be good. All right, guys, that was just a super, super quick video today. I thought I wanted to show you how you could change the settings for your display. And hopefully that will help you get the colors that you're actually editing in your software to look the same as after you export it, because there's nothing more frustrating than finishing something, putting it on Instagram, putting it on YouTube, and then seeing that the colors are different and trying to kind of like correct for that afterwards. I used to do that by like looking at my phone, how it was looking there, and then going back in and editing. That was back when I was editing videos or like photos most, but yeah, so that's been a struggle for me for a long time. And when I found out how to do this, it's been a game changer to be honest. So I hope it helps you out as well. And I'll catch you in the next one. We are on a roll this month. So a lot of videos could come and yeah, take care and I'll see you tomorrow.